Hello and welcome to Bad Wolf Girl Sits and Knits episode 129. My name is Meg and I will be your host. You're joining me here in a very muggy Frederick day. It is hot, hot, hot. Another scorching week going up into 80s and 90s, which is just too hot for me. Um, but it is ice cold in my basement and therefore I am able to wear short shorts and a sweater so that I can podcast with you today. Um, yeah, I'm just so grateful for the fact that, well, one, we have a porch so the basement doesn't get uh, direct sunlight until the afternoon and even then it has to go pretty much on the porch and then it kind of sort of sets and then all the trees block it. So the basement never really gets like heated during the day and it's just gorgeous and cool. And it's really, really nice. It is the 11th. Yes, June 11th. I don't know why that sounds so familiar, but it does. I feel like it's somebody's birthday. Happy birthday, <laughs> if it's your birthday. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so yes, it is June 11th. It is a Thursday. It's scorching hot heat and the world is going to pieces. Um, I do want to say up front, and um, I hope that it's always been clear that uh, I and my pr program, my business, everything that I do and I have and my family do stand for the Black Lives Matter movement. And that has never changed. That has always been the way that it has been here. I have been currently doing a lot of um, reading. I, I got uh, several books through Audible, which was awesome. I used all my credits that I've been saving up. I don't know for what, but you know, if you don't have, if I don't really, really want anything, I just save it. Um, and that was perfect. I had tons of credits, maybe six credits saved up. So I got a bunch of books and it's wonderful. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I have been working through those. Um, I did actually get a personal book as well, but that's off topic at the moment. Um, and I have been doing a lot of petition signing and a lot of reading and listening and heartbreaking and all of it. Um, so I hope that this is a spa safe space for you and uh, that you feel at home here and uh, in the turbulent climate that we're currently in between the pandemic and the protests that need to happen. I hope that you're safe. If you're protesting, I hope that you're safe there and um, wearing masks and hopefully not contracting anything else. Poor, jeez. <sighs> um, yes, yeah, so uh, I personally have not been out in the protest, but I have been protesting at home, um, doing my donations from Bad Wolf Girl Studios and my own family. And um, speaking of donations, uh, I do have a, a new pattern collection coming out. It is the mittens of Harry Potter. And um, recently, JK Rowling has been The worst. <laughs> I, can't, I can't put it into words. Disappointing. Massively disappointing. Um, so I, uh, I know that a lot of you might be boycotting her right now and I understand. Um, I understand exactly why. I do. So if you cannot support the release of my magical themed mittens that is that is fine i um completely leave that up to you and in your heart uh i will be donating proceeds from those sales to um lgbtq plus charities i had um a few people recommend some really nice ones underneath that post that i mentioned on instagram if you would like to follow me uh instagram is really the place that i am most active uh, so that is that is an excellent place and we also have um, a Ravelry and Ravelry groups so if you want to follow us we are all there uh, yeah so I will I will continue my my donations as I can um, 
and I, I really, really hope that wherever you are, you're safe. Okay, yeah, just had, I had to get it out and open and don't know what the dog is doing. She's on the weight bench. I do have a co-host, a very feisty German short hair pointer puppy who is currently right here on the other side of the camera. You might hear her snuffling around. Um, and I have a bin of cookies here, which is why she is very interested in um, being a co-host. However, there is only one chair on this side of the camera and uh, she can't fit. Not that she doesn't try. Oh, I'm drinking Bones Coffee Company um, in the French toast. French toast flavor. I think this was a gift from my friend Ashley for Christmas. I think she gave me, she gave me Highland Grog, but I think she gave me French toast too. And um, it is uh, out of my Kara Kosiak mug, which is the um, Harry Potter. I have decided that the author no longer matters, that the books have taken root in my heart and I get them for myself. So that's the way I'm, I'm going forward with all of those statements. Um, but yeah, so Kara Kosiak mug, uh, she is currently doing Wizarding Feast and Diagon Alley, I think, mugs up in her Etsy shop as pre-orders and sales. Um, I got mine on Owlcrate slash shop and um, they were previous Owlcrate box pieces. And I absolutely, this might be my favorite out of the three I have. I just, I'm very drawn to blues and purples. <laughs> We're not surprised that this is what I like best. Oh, so, <sighs> all right. And with that, um, I am hosting a House Pride Cal. Uh, this has any of the patterns that are in my Etsy shop um, that are Harry Potter. Again, I will be collecting um, proceeds from each of those sales and adding it to my donations or spreading, maybe spreading my donations out. So I um, pick a, particularly uh, since the trans community has um, been offended <laughs> most recently by this, um, I would like to, every time, uh, I would like to, um, specifically donate to a charity for them and then continue on. Uh, so yes, I hope that um, if you have supported me and now feel bad about it, that that does bring a little bit of peace to your heart knowing that um, it is going to help somebody else. Uh, yes, okay. Uh, so yes, I am hosting the House Pride Cal 2020. That's the hashtag uh, over on Instagram, and uh, I'm super excited about it. I um, I do love my wizarding world, and so uh, I'm continuing forward with that. I am also uh, just about ready to open up our. I want to say this is our fourth year of the Christmas in July. Cal. So it would be a Bad Wolf Girl Christmas in July, or maybe I'll do Christmas in July 2020, though I think other things will probably end up in that thread hashtag. So maybe BWG Christmas in July. Three, four, four. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, it's just, uh, I, it's one of my favorites. So the idea with that is that you um, knit, crochet, weave, da, 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 create for a um, Christmas or solstice or Hanukkah or, you know, uh, winter gifting. My birthday is in winter, so that would count for you. <laughs> uh, anything like that. If you have a, a, a birthday girl or birthday boy in December or anything like that that you want to get ready for. Basically, you're prepping for winter months, well, for us winter 
for the other half of summer, but um, that December kind of everybody's getting together, doing things, Thanksgiving, da da da. So um, that cow will be starting very soon. Um, if it's a large project, it can already have been cast on, but it should, the idea is that you're taking things off your plate for later. So knit some mittens, knit a hat, knit a scarf, uh, da, 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 knit a baby thing. Um, anything really counts. If, if, if you feel like it's taking a little bit off your plate for later on in the year and you're done and you're feeling really good about it, that counts. Um, you get two posts if you use my yarn, but you do not have to. I currently, currently have um, some cowl kits and um, consequently mitten kits. Uh, if you look in my shop, which is badwolfgirlstudios.etsy.com and uh, it will have all that, um, you can kind of make your own combo. Uh, my personal favorite combo that I dyed yesterday was Thestrals and Felix Felicis. Oh, the puff, it was so good. <laughs> it was so good. Um, I have taken a ton of new photos, which I'm going to be posting on Instagram in the next couple of days. So I am just pumped, so pumped, very pumped, I'm very excited. Um, I think that's all the shop stuff I've got going on. I will have a um, kind of virtual pop-up shop coming up soon, very soon, super soon, like super, super, super soon. Um, but I just have to find out if I can actually advertise about it yet or not, but like super soon. So like super soon, okay? Let me try it again, super soon. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, and I, what I'm wearing, start off the podcast with that. What I'm drinking, what I'm wearing. I'm drinking coffee and I'm wearing my Astraeus. Uh, the Astraeus is a star themed sweater in DK weight um, or a heavy, heavy sport. Uh, I, my, this particular base that I used had about. 274 yards per 100 grams. So if you have a yarn that is in between like 270, 250, I think you'd probably be able to hit gauge fine. Um, back up a little bit. I am super in love with it. Uh, I used Depths Below, which is a new color that is coming for this pop-up piece and um, kits for this will also be available at that time. Um, so depths below is the blue and the, um, I, I did this standing last week. Uh, depths below is the blue, which is nice. And then the gold is Felix Felicis. And um, a few of my testers have gotten to hear, or at least one, I saw at least one photo where she got to hear Two, two people got to hear, and I'm just, like, so excited. And the combos that I'm seeing, like, oh, so good. So it does have beading in here, which is completely optional. You do not need to bead. But um, I have to say that it adds such a nice aesthetic, and they're very soft. I cannot feel them on my skin at all. I use the little beads that you can buy at Michael's or Joann's or... Um, there's the other one, AC Moore, and they come in a little tube, and they're size two beads, and I use like a thread size hook, like a real tiny hook to put them on, but I love them. Ooh, yeah, you can kind of just see everything, like, oh my gosh, I, I am just, I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed, so. Uh, it's very comfy, very cozy. I was worried I would be extremely overheated, but I'm not. Uh, this is wool, not acrylic, so give credit where credit's due. It's probably the wool that's doing the nice little, you know, airflow. Um, but it feels good in the sense that, like, I'm not too hot. I am in air conditioning right now, and I'm in cold air conditioning, because it's like, say, 68 in my, 68 on the, the temp, it's probably closer to 65 down here, which is chilly uh, for air conditioning. 
and it feels that way um and it's cold and it's dark so uh i mean i am in the best spot to be wearing it in the middle of summer what else um i knit the size 40 and i used three full skeins of my main color which is the blue and less than one skein of my gold so got a pokey puppy today yes i do up. this gypsy love you oh and this is my one of my finished objects as well so i guess that's what i'm wearing and it is starting with fo's so yes ta-da loving it it's a really fun circular yoke um pretty much all the action happens before the sleeve spit so it's a it's a drop sleeve um what else and then it has a fun little like i guess i, I think you call it fleece stitch i don't know not really it's just dots so fun little like star falls going down and you could do that down the whole body if you wanted to continue it uh all right so moving on to my next fo is kind of like a uh it's kind of a zombie so i knit these this is uh the voldemort colorway from nomadic yarns um i had these as shorties last summer um when we first moved so it was probably about a year ago and i noticed the more times i wore them the more often i wished that they were long socks or longer socks because they stopped right here at this black stripe and i was like you know what i just, the colors really lend to fall for me um and winter and so i really wanted to wear them with boots and such and they just were not long enough for that so um i went ahead and it's very lumpy you can tell it's totally fine because when i wear them it'll it'll be fine but i picked up along my cast off my bind off edge here which was stretchy so no problems there stretchy bind off and i knit a one more sequence until i hit black again and then i did a cuff and they're still, um, they're not quite as l tall as they are long, but just under. So, I mean, perfect for winter things. And um, having most of the sock already done, it flew. Like, <laughs> this, this was one night and then I popped off the cuff the other night and that was it. It was done. Um, and it's so gratifying because I got a whole sock. Uh, and it's kind of like bringing it back from the dead because I was wearing it, but I wasn't wearing it as much as I think I would if these were longer and now they are. So I have one more to uh, continue on. And then I think the rest of the ball, I'm going to knit into socks for Patrick, which is why I didn't go up further than this. I wanted um, my socks to match. So I only did one extra repeat and then the cuff. But I think they're going to be really more wearable for me because i just i always wanted them to be a little bit longer and this is perfect so yes i absolutely love this stripe sequence and um i look forward to continuing to work on it yeah and this was actually funny enough this was thestrals 1.0 which is a little bit faded since it's been in the heel of a sock but it was actually i think i got better at dyeing black with this last batch not to, not to toot the horn, but I think I got a little bit better, which is always what you hope, that the more times you do things, the better you get. Alrighty, which brings us into whips. Um, I do have several. Let's start with the oldest. Um, okay. So, I pulled out two balls of uh, Stitch Studio by Nicole from my stash. I've had this for a while, probably since 2016 or so. When I first started knitting sweaters and with the intention that it would be a sweater, but then it's like bulky acrylic yarn. I thought it would be too hot. Um, and I knit a teal sweater, but I actually gave it to my grandmother. And then I knit the um, green sweater 
if you remember, if you're if you went back, um, I knit the green sweater, long sleeves. It was like apple and lettuce colors. Um, and I also gave that to my grandmother because <laughs> I just was not wearing it. And she looked so cute in it. So she wears it a lot, like kind of every time I come over, which <laughs> makes me really happy. Um, so what I did was I used a US 10 and a half or 11, I think it was a 10 and a half for this. Um, and I started the mama vertebrae. I had to actually go lower than the lowest numbers because my gauge was bigger than the, the pattern. So, um, I did a little bit of math. I think I'm only getting three and a half three stitches per inch or three, two and a half stitches per inch, like bulky. Um, and I just have the sleeves left. The body is done. Um, I just did some, basically I'm making like a giant one, like I do the babies. So I did a um, garter cowl here and I have uh, picked up and started on the sleeve. That's kind of where I petered out. Um, my hands were starting to hurt. I always get pain here and uh, in my elbow and my rotator cuff has been inflamed more recently than not. Um, so there it is. It's the bottom and it's flipping up a little bit now, but I'm sure once I get it into some hot water and lay it flat and let it dry, it will be fine. Um, it is pretty cute. I wonder if I can just maybe, yeah. So just pretend for a second. So it fits a bit like this right now. Um, it's not bad at all. Uh, it was really, it was too far off my shoulders without the garter band. So um, that really, really saved it. Uh, let's see if I can just stand for a sec. So it just kind of, and it hangs and it kind of just goes to my the curve in my hip here um i keep tapping this like you can see it the curve in my hip here so it isn't very long um but i think it will be nice and it will be warm when it is chilly uh it'll be kind of an outside jacket so my thought is when i want to sit on the patio and the porch and it's cold oh, sorry that i tangled in my own cords when it's cold on the porch that I can just put this on over whatever I have and just kind of have an extra layer um good for fall not good for winter because it's an entirely open front but uh yeah I just liked the concept but I think the mama vertebrae is not quite for me I do like just a teeny bit more fabric in the front I have, um, I have a pear shape, so like anything that I, that closes over my chest is not going to close over my hips. So I would have to continue those increases almost all the way down to have a sweater that closes, which I would never do. It would be so unflattering. <laughs> I only do closed sweaters if they stop at my waist. <laughs> so <clears throat> anyway, this has been, this was week one. So I didn't podcast last week um i took a i took a mental health week and since i was feeling a bit under i went ahead and um my new knit picks order had come in so i was able to get all these gorgeous colors look at them all right i'm not sure i will remember all the names but i will try <clears throat> so I have a uh, mint which we remember from the last baby sweater that like obviously is so hard to get on here it's not white white it it is mint it's mint and then this is called alfalfa I guess it's a plant um so I don't think it looks like a kid and then this one is marina which no tide pool I think this is tide pool this is marina which i could i could have a, a whole everything out of this color um it's so pretty and then i put in a spruce this is actually 
I said that they're all nitpick sport, but they're not quite. This one is nitpick swish. So it's softer. It's an 80, 20. Um, so it's, it's really soft. It's, um, the sport balls were only like 199, which is perfect, especially for babies and dogs, which is what I knit for right now. Um, but the swish, I put it for my husband. Um, I bought mighty stitch. I think it was in Navy and it was just ooh, so good. Swish. So good. So this is spruce which I affectionately call Eagles colors. Um, and then underneath is not Celestial. I think it's Solstice Heather. <clears throat> and then it finishes off with Asphalt. Asphalt Heather? Asphalt Heather, I think. Asphalt Charcoal. So it's a gray. So I kind of, I unpacked I didn't even do this on purpose. I ordered a bunch of things because I was missing those colors in my stash and I got them and I opened it and I was like, I can see it. <laughs> and so then I started on a hunt to see what sweater I wanted to do. And I landed on the Camaro for the reason that um, it didn't look too hard. I, I don't have a ton of brain space. I wanted to try something. I wanted to try something new. I thought about the V-back tee and then I got a little lost. So I started with the Camaro and I actually bought the little Camaro too. These are both tennis fiber arts. Um, and I knit, I had to do a little finagling because my I think my gauge was a bit different than what I was choosing. I think I knit the smallest size in sport weight on US 8s. But though the chest fits perfectly, again, I'm a pair. By the time I got down to the bottom, it was going to be tight on the bottom. It was going to be not skin tight, but it was going to be right up against my body. And I like ease. So I did two rapid increases across the front because the back really wasn't a problem. Knit six make one and a knit seven make one. Um, so I just, just bulked it out and you can almost maybe see like the bubbling there. That's kind of where I increased and um <clears throat> when i wear it like when it's on my body you won't see it and i will just steam block that a little bit larger because you can yeah you can kind of see like it's like straight 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 ripley <laughs> but when you're wearing it it pulls it out as well um i will say that the brava sport blocked out super like soft nice and soft not still not as soft as swish but soft um, definitely next to skin, really beautiful. And the colors, um, obviously nothing really ran cause it's all acrylic. Um, it's all acrylic. It's an all acrylic project. I've never knit an all acrylic project that didn't look like that's a homemade project. I feel like this really is pretty, pretty nifty, pretty nifty. And I do love the, um, color combos on my skin for myself with this horror. Um, I am, I am really enjoying it. So I'm hoping that this will be the FO that I wear next week because I am knitting sleeves. And if I were doing them three quarter length, I would be up to the ribbing. But I think I am actually just going to make them like bracelet length this time, maybe a little longer. Um, and my thought process for that is I don't really have any long sleeve sweaters that I wear. Like even these, I didn't make it. Um, I don't really have any long sleeve sweaters. I have um, an unfinished Weasley sweater. I never finished the duplicate stitch. I'll get there one day. Uh, so you have a Weasley sweater in fingering weight, which is pretty nice, but like I, I hardly ever wear it. Is Do I hardly ever wear it because it's long sleeves? So this is going to be, again, like porch setting type of sweater or like really cold inside sweater. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm super, I'm super jazzed. And it's really, really cute to throw over 
kind of a like a bandeau or like your ripple bralette that kind of thing um mine is a wee bit see-through uh because of the um gauge i knitted at so um it is it is a wee bit see-through it's a little breathable you can i can almost see my fingers moving not too bad so if i wear the right color won't be a problem if i wear like tans or grays or i'll be fine i will not worry oh but i love this fade i love this fade super love it so i'm hoping that i will be wearing this next week and i'd actually love to make a little camaro i don't know who to wear it with but it's so cute and um i have extras of all of this so i'm super it's like a faded and faded pint size like i'm super tempted to just make a smaller one and put it aside and see if one of my nieces will match me like it's so cute um <clears throat> okay coffee um from there i was thinking of my dear friend tristan uh of dragon horde yarn and i pulled out my island which was her moana colorway from ages ago this is years ago now i don't think she carries a space anymore um and i started knitting a sock so i'm just gonna just gonna nope this is a big one i need a smaller one thank you for being a friend is always my like hummable thing that I do when I'm trying to do something else like cook in some dinner for me it's just the one that I sing I am almost at the the heel look at that I am so close I need to get like there Ooh, so close so I have um made a pretty partnership of lemon drop which is mine and currently available in the shop and um the moana color from tristan i think it is so pretty been just kind of i just need some vanilla sock knitting um and i don't know when i became a one at a time sock knitter it's a terrible idea because the second socks take forever to do <laughs> but uh, here we are and I am knitting this on a one and a half. Is that what I had available? I think it is. Come on, somebody show me the thing. One and a half, 2.5 millimeter needle. And I think, uh, I think Lemon Drop and Moana go great together. We're good friends. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm, super, I'm super loving that. Um, I am almost ready for the heel. I did uh, start out with like 12 stitches, increase to 24 on either side, so it's 48 stitches, and then I increased four more, so I have 52 stitches now, and um, that's where I'll be for a little bit. Should be enough for me, so um, I have a very, I have a very loose gauge. So I can, I can really make those stitches work for me. Um, so last night I tried to cast on a hat. I'm not sure if it's working yet. I have to put those on larger needles to see if 96 was too many stitches to cast on. This is Celestial by Knit Picks in their Brava Worsted. Um, it's my, it's one of my favorite blues. It's one of my favorite blues. Uh, but I I just wanted a hat because I thought it would look really good. And so I just started the cast on. Um, I don't think I mobius it at all. I think I'm okay. Yeah, I think I'm okay. There's the cast on. I just got like a little bit done, a little bit done. It's a, I'm working on US 8s. And I thought that it would be good busy knitting. Unfortunately, the moment I have like a sleeve and a sleeve and a sleeve and a sleeve and a sleeve to knit 
which basically means like I'm doing this all the time and I don't know if I really feel like sleep netting anymore. Um, I, I just keep, I just keep casting on hats. So I've got a really gorgeous mohair to try with this. It is the, um, I guess it might be Celestial from their Knit Picks Aloft. Uh, so it's like a bright blue mohair. And I'm hoping, sorry, I'm like knitting under here. Uh, I'm hoping that I can hold these together and it'll make like this gorgeously bright blue hat. Um, yeah. So I just have to, I have to put this on like a long, long cord and like try it on because I'm worried that I should have cast on like 88 stitches due to the gauge because it looks like I'm getting four and a half stitches per inch and I have a 21 inch head so I guess you want like or maybe I have a 22 inch head so I want a 21 inch hat so there's four and a half times 21 yeah so I will be maybe showing you most of a hat next week maybe maybe I'll really what I want to do is finish I'm gonna be selfish and finish the sweater for myself this little guy first oh I got a new progress keeper I have several new progress keepers but I'm gonna just show you one at a time so this is blueberry pie from Simply Serving. Oh, and I redid my nails. Did pink. I love it. And it's sparkly on the bottom. Like this is all done glitter. I love, I love the pies. For one, I love the pies. But I love blueberry pie as well. So I needed, I needed that one. <laughs> okay. Um, and then my next hat cast on that I tried to do I want to make a um I want to make a kitty cat hat a uh for my nieces so like pink pink kitty hat so I just have this I'm working on a US 5 right now because it's what I had and it was small enough because it's one of the smaller cords but it's small enough that I can get my fingers in it, which is what I need for comfort. Um, and I cast on 60 stitches, 66 stitches. I think I cast on 60 stitches. No, maybe I did cast it. Did I cast on 70? Crap. <laughs> oh, wah, wah, wah. All right, I'll have to count. 60, just counted. I cast on 60 stitches because it is a uh, Wee Ones hat. Um, it's going to, uh, I'm gonna go up, um, I'm on a five now, but I think I'm gonna go up to a seven. So the gauge will naturally grow as well. And 60 will be fine for a small one. Um, but I'm very, I'm very excited. So a little, a little pink resist hat would be adorable. So it's just, just that. I am using this one um, with love, supports Red Cross, Red Heart. Um, it's got lots of yardage. What's the, uh, it's a medium four. It's called Hot Pink or Rose. Um, <laughs> Rosa Incendio. <laughs> I love that. It's so much cooler than hot pink. <laughs> oh. Oh, I love it. All right. And it's all acrylic, which is perfect for kids. So, yeah, just my little pink hat. I had a craving. Gypsy was on the treadmill. I didn't have my knitting down here. Start something new. <sighs> so, I've got like a basically all in the round stockinette things. I also have a plan. What do you see when you see these colors? What do you see? I see Yoda. <laughs> so my plan, I've got um, almond and avocado, almond and avocado for the colors. And I'm going to knit 
the um, baby vertebrae here and I'm gonna knit a Yoda hat here and have a little like outfit. I can't even, I'm so excited. I don't know who it's going to, but it just has to happen. I just saw them together and I was like, oh, it needs to happen. I'm so excited. I am so excited. So um, that's another plan I've got. I just, Baba Yoda's. Oh, I can't, <laughs> it's so cute. I did have a package come in. Um, since the last time that I podcasted. So I wanted to share with you some goodies from Mary Kay. Um, thank you, Mrs. Aquilino. I am absolutely in love. I haven't gotten to try this one yet, but I do have the Time Wise face wash. And I also bought their um, day solution, which is basically sunscreen and their night solution, which is um, kind of like hydration. So this is a face mask from the TimeWise collection and you're just supposed to, you know, look like a zombie while you do it. Um, you place it on your face and then you wash it off. And it's a lifting biocellular lotus mask, which I don't know a ton about, but it's really fun. It's actually nice and cool because it's been down in the air conditioning here. Um, so I'm really excited to use that. I think that's one of my little like self-care treats that I'm going to be doing. And then um, I got two little packs of these. So what these are, are face mask or face, not face masks, face towels. So they're dry. You know, normally you would get like a makeup wipe and it would be dry, but you can feel that there's like lotion in here, basically. And what you do is you wet them and then you just wash your face. So this replaces your dirty kind of like, not that you have a dirty towel, but once you use it once and then you let it sit overnight, the water gets a little bit grody and yeah. So this kind of replaces using a hand towel for your face and you just are able to use it and it has the lotion all in there. You can also apply um, makeup remover to this and use it as a makeup remover. It is not already imbued with makeup remover. So that isn't what it is. It comes in dry and you put it under water to warm it and wet it and then you wash your face. And my face feels like butter afterwards. Oh my gosh. I have only been doing it for a few days, but it's so good. It's so good. Um, and I cannot wait. Oh, that pat just came down. Um, it's so cute. I cannot wait to keep using them. I'm obsessed. Thank you, Mrs. Equilino. So if you would like to try some of these Mary Kay products, um, definitely check them out. They have their um, consultants and their websites. And I can fully say that Mrs. Equilino is awesome. <laughs> I don't know if I can give her to you as a consultant, but if I could, I would. Um, but yeah, so they just, they make your skin feel so soft and so good. So it's like doing a whole nightly care routine, but all you have to do is wash your face, which I am so into the easy does it type of routine. It's amazing. Um, hmm. Pat and I just had our date anniversary on Monday, which means we've been dating for, dating for <laughs> eight years. So we've been together eight years and um, married for four in October. Uh, so we're almost going to be married longer than we were dating, which is exciting. Um, and he gave me a gift. So um, we are big knock around fans, which are sunglasses. So these are the um, Namaste, I think they are, Namaste sunglasses. They've got, um, just this gorgeous patterning on the back. It's kind of like the same fade. I love them and I think they go so good with my hair. These are premiums, the, um, the style of sunglasses. So the um, ones that I showed off previously were My ties, I think. Yeah, I'm obsessed. So, um, yeah, 
I just, I, I love how premiums look on my head. I have a bit of a small head, so they work great for me. They're too small for Pat. He, as a larger headed person, has um, knock arounds. No, Fort Knox, that's it, Fort Knox. The brand is knock around. The style is Fort Knox. They have lots, they have like Mai Tais. Yeah, Mai Tais are the ones that I just ordered my blue light glasses in, but I'm, I'm obsessed with these. So that was his gift to me. And my gift to him was um, pajama pants uh, that have Ravenclaw go down one leg. I have the Gryffindor ones um, because his older pajama pants just kept getting shorter and shorter in the leg. Like his ankles kept showing and he just looked so silly. So I was like, you need new pants. So I got those, you can get them at Hot Topic um, or on Amazon Ooh, or a puppy. Uh, yeah, just, she's hoping to get more, more cookies, more cookies, mom. Um, I guess that's, yeah, so that was Monday. And then, um, last Saturday, uh, I did one shift at the winery. I picked up more wine. They're doing a really nice blend right now where they have, um, rosé of Merlot and lemonade. So good. They're making like pops really really fun um so I'm making pops it's very cool and uh, cool pops <laughs> but I'm pop <laughs> I've also decided to do a giveaway below this video so um I don't know what I it, it write anything nice no no inflammatory comments um but uh comment down below tell me tell me anything something you've enjoyed something you've seen something that made you smile, something that's helping you right now, um, an organization that you think could use donations, um, and I will send to you a beaded stitch barker from Sinemi Creations. Um, so it's not this exact one, but it is an example of what you will get. Uh, so mystery markers. I will be giving these away to a comment down below of, I don't know, what's your weather like? What'd your puppy do? Funny story. Your kids graduate. Did they say something or do something silly? Did you get a new water sprinkler or a, try a new coffee? Ooh, I love coffee. You can definitely tell me all about coffee. <laughs> Did you start a new cast on and made you really happy? Did you donate somewhere and you want, you know, other people to know about the organization? Let me know down below. That would be, that would be wonderful. And I will do a random number generator and send off a mystery marker prize. I'm hoping to do um, a couple of those. Uh, I've got Gypsy doing the toddler, uh, uh, Gypsy doing the toddler challenge right now. Um, I've put the treat down. I've told her to wait for it. And right now she has been licking it twisting her head, flipping her head, going over here, sniffing it again, backing up, getting real close. Okay. And she succeeds. Uh, I have to take my vitamins. <laughs> Thank you to everyone who helped me at least know that I'm not the only one that it does not push to notifications here. I don't know why it doesn't, but it's very frustrating. Um, but at least I'm not alone with that. Uh, and I think it's about time for breakfast. I've got some exciting shop things coming up and um, I've got some side hustle that I'm trying to, uh, to work. So we will see how that goes. Um, I actually did my hair again. I don't look much different than I did two weeks ago, but I dyed my hair purple. So it looked like this. Um, for like a week and a half because I absolutely cannot keep my hands off my hair. It's really bad. It's really, really bad. But then when I did it, it didn't turn out. I wanted it to be vibrant purple, like super purple. But for that, you need light blonde hair. And somehow my stylist always made it happen. I miss her. I miss her so much. Uh, but, um, since I can't go to her right now, I've just been trying to not mess with my hair too much. Uh, so what I did was I had done it purple and it didn't really work out. And so I went ahead 
and um, bought a third box of color oops since the quarantine started. I should get stock. <laughs> so I used extra strength color oops and um, did that on my hair for 45 minutes yesterday. And it took the, um, the pink that you see is the very last strands of purple hanging on. And the golds are kind of where my hair was previously. And there is actually some white blonde in there too, um, which is really interesting. Gypsy is hiding her nose in the couch in an effort to not eat the treat yet. Wait, she's doing really good. Um, but yeah, so there's some really bright spots here and then some darker ones. And then of course I kept my roots because um, I think it just grounds it a lot better for me. I need, I need the brown next to skin so that it doesn't look too crazy. But after I did it, I, I did curl it kind of like this and we were just having dinner and Pat looks up and goes, I like your hair. Thanks, babe. So excited. Like, not that he doesn't comment on my hair, but he doesn't often make a comment on my hair, which is fine. Um, it's my hair. I get to do whatever I want with it. That was what he said. So <laughs> I just, um, yeah, I'm actually really kind of loving the baby pink in there and I'm not mad about it. I feel, um, uh, what is it? One of my favorite comedians, Eliza, uh, just dyed her blonde hair like peach. And um, she calls her dog uh, Tianfu. She calls her Snow Peach. And so I just keep referring to my hair as Snow Peach right now. <laughs> so I feel like Peach. Uh, but I'm actually really loving it. So I think it looks best curled. And um, that's where I've been kind of hanging out. What I do recently. Uh, since the last podcast, I have watched all of the original three Lord of the Rings. And we devoured the show Dragon Prince. It was amazing and it has so much diversity in love and partners and skin colors and pairings and it's amazing. So if you want, like, you know how people are like, I just don't see myself on the TV and it's true. Like a lot of things just get, what is it, whitewashed? It just, you know, there's just no diversity in them. This is beautiful. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. You can have it. It's beautiful. So I highly recommend it. Plus I, I love a good quest story and, um, the costumes are cute and everything's funny. And if you watched Avatar, there's a really nice nod to it in there. And we just did watch Avatar. So it's really funny. Um, oh my gosh, it was so good. We inhaled it. I think there's three or four seasons but there is a new season coming i think there's three seasons and season four is coming so oh my gosh so here for it it's like how to train your dragon all over again i'm so here for these series that netflix is doing with the animation i can it, the, um animation isn't as clear as um as how to train your dragon it's a different style but i really like it as well it's more drawn um than like 3d molded amazing um anything else and with that i think i'm going to close out the episode i want to uh, remind you to take it one cup at a time no matter how large that cup may be and i will see you next week bye german hair german German Gypsy.